In this video, I'll show you how to scrape a website that requires login. We'll use Axiom AI. Axiom AI allows you to create browser automations without code. We'll be scraping quotes to scrape and writing the data into Google Sheets. You can create an Axiom AI account at axiom.ai. You'll need to download it and install the Chrome extension for this project. You can begin the installation process by clicking Download Free Trial. The process is very well explained. Rest assured, Axiom AI has a free plan. View the pricing page to check it out. For convenience, I've timestamped the video in the description. Furthermore, I've linked an article there which explains the legalities of web scraping. Once you've downloaded Axiom AI, open the Chrome extension. If you're new to Axiom AI, you'll have example projects showcased for you. You can keep, review or delete them. Together, we'll be working through how to create a web scraper from scratch in Axiom AI. Before we create the web scraper, connect Google Sheets under External Services. I've already connected my account. It's an easy one-click process. We can continue once you've connected your Google Sheets account. Click Create New Axiom. Then you'll want to click Build Your Own Axiom by adding steps one by one. Let's title our task Quotes to Scrape. Now let's create the function to interact with the pages interface. Add a new step into the automation. Interact with the pages interface. This function is going to contain four steps. Let's work through each one. One Go to page. You'll want to enter the URL that the browser automation should visit. For this project, our automation should first go to quotes.toscrape.com. Let's go to the Quotes to Scrape homepage, then open the Axiom AI extension. Now, under Go to page, click Get Current URL. That will insert the correct URL for us. Two, login. We'll want to add another step into this function, login. Because we're not always logged into websites, the browser automation must log in before continuing. The automation will hand over to you in order to manually enter your password, then continue. Axiom AI doesn't store it. Let's go to the Quotes to Scrape login page. Once you're on the login page, open the extension and as we did before, what you'll want to do is click Get Current URL. Under Username, I'll enter a dummy username, Test. As this is a dummy website, you can enter whatever you wish for a username. Now in Username Field, click the button Username Field. We must tell the automation where the Username Field is located on the page. Click onto it, then click Confirm. Free, get data from a web page. Once our automation has logged in, it will loop back to the home page, then we can begin scraping the data we wish to extract from the website. So what we'll want to do is add another step into this function and that step will be get data from a web page. Now we'll want to select the data we wish to scrape but before defining that in Axiom AI let's go to quotes to scrape and go back to the home page because the data sits on the home page that we wish to scrape. So once you're on the home page, open the Axiom AI extension again. Then under Select Data, 
click the Select Data button. Now, start selecting each quote. You'll notice that after we click the first few, the others highlight. The scraper has noticed we want to scrape them all. You can expand the extension and from there you can see the text that it will scrape when we run this scraper. We also want to scrape the author of each quote. So to add that in, let's click the plus sign. The reason being we want to scrape another piece of data from this web page. Once you've done that, start selecting the author of each quote. And again, once you've clicked the first few, the others will highlight. Scraper will have noticed that that's the data we wish to scrape. If we expand the extension, you'll see the data that will get scraped when we run this web scraper. That's complete. Let's click the confirm button. Now let's go to max results. For this project, let's limit it to 10. Now we must write the data to our Google Sheet. To add another step, click the plus sign outside of the current function. Then we'll want to add write data to a Google Sheet. We must now enter the spreadsheet URL. So let's switch over to the Google Sheet that I created, click the share button, then click change and I just want to copy this link and click done. Now open the Axiom AI extension and paste it into spreadsheet URL. Under sheet name, we can leave that blank because we want to input our data into the first and only sheet within our Google Sheet. Under data, you'll want to make sure that you've selected the data to write. In this case, it has selected the data in the first interaction, the first step for us. Also, we can toggle to clear data before writing to the sheet or add to existing data within the sheet. I'll make sure that it is set to clear. To run our web scraper, click the play button. As soon as you've clicked play, the browser automation will start working in Chromium. First our web scraping automation will go to quotes to scrape, then it will go to the quotes to scrape login page. At this point we need to enter our username and password which requires manual intervention. Upon logging in, the automation will continue. It will scrape the quotes and authors of each quote, which we limited to 10. Then our web scraping automation will go to Sheets and write the data. And as we can see, we have that right in front of us now. And we can see that our web scraper worked successfully and effortlessly. Axiom AI has now scraped a website that requires login. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest projects that I publish every week, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no code project.